What does Portini mean, Eric? Portini's the, it's the little piggy that goes in the forest and waits for you to find it. it it's little the piggy in little Italian. Piggies. But in French, they're Sepp, and they are Strangfilds in German, mm -hmm. and they are King Boletus in mm. English. Boletus Edulis. In Latin. So good for you. So you guys, for this risotto recipe, we're going to make a risotto. You're going to rehydrate your mushrooms in a cup and a half of water, just tap water. And we're going to start by the old standard, sauteing some onions and garlic in olive oil or butter. I like butter. I like olive oil. I like butter. <laughs> olive oil. But it's making a comeback. Oh, totally. With good reason. Okay, so the risotto we're making right now is from scratch. We have a quick, ready, no stir one. This is the authentic way. We're using a short grain arborio rice. This is the way to get that authentic texture and starchiness of risotto. Here we have two cups of broth. You can use any kind of broth you want, veggie or chicken. Uh, you can make your own broth, or you can use the cube, or you can use the stuff from a box. And uh, yeah, so two cups of that. And then when these are all plump, you're going to use the soaking water. You're going to put it into the broth. And this is just going to be on low heat. So that rice, so you just dump that in there and you just stir it till it's, you can see it's coating with oil. You want that opaqueness to disappear. You want to kind of get it all shiny looking. So now you take one ladle of the heated broth and mushroom water and you add it to the risotto and stir constantly until that disappears. And you just repeat this process over and over again, stirring constantly. It's hot. Mmm. <laughs> Almost there. Maybe it's, one more risotto later. is supposed to be al dente. Mm -hmm. um, the flavors are really rich. Would you like another one Let's more go ladle? one more ladle. You might have a little bit of broth left over. You might need extra. You know, it kind of depends on how high your heat is, how vigorously you're stirring, what sea level elevation you live at. <laughs> okay, so... We've turned this way down to low now, and we're going to put three, four tablespoons of fresh grated Parmesan. Don't use really cheap, yucky Parmesan. It makes a big difference. This stuff is going to add beautiful flavor, and it has that nice melty texture. And risotto kind of goes with anything, any meat dish, any vegetable dish. We're just going to serve it up today with some asparagus. That smells good. Yeah. Risotto from scratch with porcini. You can also use uh, the same recipe and do it with the forest blend or the morels, or even make a smoked risotto with the smoked chanterelles. It's really classically used with the porcini in Italian cooking. Uh, and that's it. Want to taste? Mm -hmm. I love watching your plate. Mm -hmm. Oh, Scott.